Hello my dear students, I welcome you all in my YouTube channel Azaz Keta. In this video, I am going to discuss uh, exclusively, purely on one question, which is there in the model paper of SSLC. See, like in this, this is three mark question. Yeah, it is a three marks, 33rd question, three mark question from an area related to circle chapter okay see before we go i just want to tell you in this channel i'm going to give you like what's the plan should be now like after the board has released the model paper of all the subjects what should be your plan how to prepare it for like you know science and math specially used to be very difficult paper in this paper like I won't say it is that difficult but like still this question is like some students may struggle to get the answer correct so we will give you a strategy how to score well right like there are certain chapters like from there that they are asking a basic question so you did not need to go in depth of those chapter right in in like science and math which are those chapter where you require to study in depth we will discuss it in deeper in other video okay so for that you need to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so whenever I release it you will get all the information so let us start the you know solution of this question given figure o is the center of circle radius is phi okay and apb is equilateral see they have given this is apb it is a equilateral triangle which triangle equilateral triangle off side is 8 centimeter ap and bp are tangent so you know however it is equilateral triangle so uh, AP should be equal to BP should be equal to AB also that is very important AB should be 8 right find the area of shaded region if I go with the first step area of shaded region area of shaded region what you think what should come see according to me this is your sector part this much correct this is your sector right so from area of sector if you remove if you subtract area of triangle AOB but question is that the area of triangle is what equilateral then root 3a square by 4 area if it is right angle then half base height formula but actually which triangle it is right looks like isosceles triangle phi phi 8 correct if it is like that then we need to go with heron's formula so whether it is required to use a ninth standard uh, concept here so let's see further first of all area of sector formula is theta by 360 into pi r square area of triangle aob is the like headache to us but if I go with a little in detail see you know that if I draw one perpendicular from the center of circle draw O M perpendicular to AB if you draw any perpendicular from center of circle it bisect the chord AB is a chord so you will get AM is equals to MB total AB is 8 so it will be 4 cm you should write perpendicular from center of circle from center of circle bisect chord right now I have to find what you know OB OM OM this OM if I get then I can go with AOB is a right angle triangle 
right so to find out height om i will use pythagoras theorem in triangle a o m m is equal to 90 degree i can apply pythagoras theorem in a o m o a square equals to a m square plus o m square which i want to find out OA is 5 square, AM is 4 square, OM which we want to find out. Correct. Till now, any no doubt other? Hell, any no doubt either. 5 square 25, 4 square 16. 16 comes here. OM square is equal to 25 minus 16. OM is equal to root 9 and we'll get 3 centimeter. Right now. So we got it like OM is 3 centimeter. So I can use that half into base into height. Clear. And here theta is the issue. By what is this O angle? It's very simple. If it is 90 because of radius and tangent are perpendicular, it is 90. And it is 60 because it is equilateral triangle. Then it has to be 120. A O O angle O should be 120. If you like, you want to write it clearly, then you should write O A P B is a quadrilateral. See, this is all part of the sum. Nothing is rough like that in this. Angle O, angle A, angle P, angle B, sum of the angle of a quadrilateral is 360. O, I want to find out A is 90 radius perpendicular to tangent, B is 60 because it is an equilateral triangle, all angles 60, and B is again 90 radius is perpendicular to tangent equal to 360. Angle O plus 90, 90, 180 plus 60, 240 is equal to 360. And angle O is equal to 120. Is it clear everybody? Right. So you got it 120 now. 120 by 360 into 22 by 7 into radius is 5 into 5 minus half into the base is which one? AB is the base remember and height is your OM. So this 0, 0 cancel, 12 1s are, 12 3s are, 22 into 25 divided by 3 into 7 minus half, AB is 8, OM is just we found 3. So 2 1s are, 2 4s are, you got minus 4 3s are 12. Here you will get 25 2s are, 550 divided by 21. If you divide 550 by 21, you see what we'll get and tell me then and then you have to just subtract it and your answer is ready. Uh, not a tough, not a tough, right? Whether it is tough, who feels tough? Who think that this question was tough? 26.19 minus 2. You will get 14.19 centimeter square. Right, everybody? Understood? If you have a doubt, write in comment. We'll see. And we'll come with a 